first ones who ran around Northport uh, with Sterling Moss uh, when we created that racetrack. I don't think it's one of the safest racetracks because uh, they're very unforeseen corners. You can't, you can't look over it and it's, it's sort of really tricky. But uh, I managed it for 40 years or 43 years, so I wrecked on a couple of cars and uh, you know, taken off the racetrack. So, personally, myself, I didn't do them as so much. I'm quite happy about this. And, uh, uh, Scott Maxwell was uh, taking me for a lap around Mosport a while back and he was kind of saying, I think because Mosport is Mosport, we've had quite a few great drivers, you know, that come out of Canada because of that experience. Oh, absolutely. Look at Villeneuve, you know. Uh, Villeneuve had the, had the ride for Ferrari and I was sitting with him on the pit, pit lane when he got the ride for Ferrari. Just, I even said, why don't you try to get this Kamikaze in the car, you know, because Lauda took off. He, he, uh, Still was nursing his face where it was burned in Monza. So, uh, and uh, they gave him a chance to drive. He got in the car and he spun out in the first lap. But it didn't mean anything. The second lap was one of the quickest laps. And then by qualifying, he put it on the pole and then he won the race. So, how can you go wrong with a guy like that? You know? that's, that's why he was one of the best at No, I'm still enjoying it. I go there once a month and uh, teach people and then go around with people. And there's a lot of people out there, they've never been around the racetrack. Uh, Spectators for 40 years, but they never had the chance to get around the track. And we invited them to come out, take them around for three or four laps, and that's that's uh, that's their dream of life. So, and I, I feel great. That I can do There's it. only one line in this racetrack. If you want to go fast, and if you want to pass it, I'm telling you something. The guy doesn't give me that much room more. You've got to have an accident. So you know. So how many years did it take you to figure out that line? Huh? It started like that. Yeah. I started with the RS61 because the RS61 was a very difficult car to drive. A little bicycle tires. Yeah. So I figured if I have to find the line, and I had good competitors, Sterling Wallace, Dan Gurney, Jimmy Clark, Stewart, you know, and I had to compete against these guys. <laughs> I give it the line. In terms of the tracks that are around the world, you know, well, sport, they don't make them like that anymore. It's truly one of those old school tracks. Uh, yes, because uh, they, they want to have safety. They want to have runoff six miles long. Uh, they, they, take the, they, take actually the, the, they take the good stuff out of the racetracks. They take the driver styles out of the racetracks, like putting an automatic transmission in the car. That mean, uh, why don't you give a guy a handle with six gears and say, okay, it's shift. It shows up who's better, who's more worse. So uh, I have to agree with Michael Schumacher who says that that new car is not a good car for me to drive. I want to shift, I want to, I want to do something in the car and he doesn't do anything. It just presses two buttons. Mm -hmm. So he take the finesse away, I think, from race car drives. track has kind of kept his character over the years. Maybe talk a bit through that? It kept his character, yes. They, uh, they did a couple of modifications, corner number four, for the first very, very narrow corner. They made it a little wider now so that, that you have room to pass. Uh, but it destroys the exit in the corner number 5A. But that's, uh, that's a privilege of the, a driver who knows how to use that type of corner to, to take the advantage of it. And they took the hump out of corner number nine, up the, up the hill, before we get into corner number eight, but it was very, very dangerous. I remember that the 935 we were practically put off the ground to get over the top of the hill there, and then you had to stop to get around the corner, you know, so it, it, it's a tough race today. But they took the hump out, they eliminated a lot of problems. Uh, quarter one, they made a little, a little more 
safer, a little wider, where John certainly has had such a big accident. And so, uh, but the overall, I think they did a very nice job. I had a grin on my face the entire time, Ludwig. <laughs> oh, oh, that was an absolute honor. That made my day. I'm quite happy to invite me for the 50th anniversary. And uh, I don't know what kind of job they have for me, but uh, I heard that Bob Jones is going to come and, uh, and uh, be the marshal. But I was really surprised about this because Hansa was never racing on the race track, as far as I know, I think. They should have been stealing moss and say, hey, still anyone want to come over for me now? It's no problem at all. He should be doing this. He deserves that. So, but I don't know, I don't make the decision that I, I was surprised that he even called me a week ago and said he's going to come to Moosport for Saturday and Sunday. And I said, sure, why not?